Every year, millions of monarch butterflies east of the Rocky Mountains migrate thousands of miles from the United States and Canada to Mexico. Escaping the freezing winter temperatures of the northern latitudes, they shelter from November to March in a very few specific locations near Mexico City, in the state of Mexico and Michoacan. As temperatures begin to rise in early March, they begin their journey back north for the cycle to repeat, as it has for millennia. Monarchs begin their lives as eggs, hatching after about four days to become larvae, also called caterpillars. For the next two weeks, they feed only on the leaves of the poisonous milkweed plant, the toxins of which don't affect caterpillars, but accumulate in their bodies, deterring potential predators. As they grow to maturity, they'll molt five times because their skin doesn't grow along with them. Once fully grown, the caterpillar begins the process of forming a chrysalis. As it hangs upside down in a J shape, its skin will split and the chrysalis will emerge, wrapping the caterpillar within. Over the course of a week, the chrysalis will go from bright green to clear, at which point the butterfly emerges. Abdominal fluid is pumped into the wings to expand them to full size, and once they harden, the butterfly can take flight. The typical lifespan of a monarch is about six weeks, except for the generation which migrates south, which will live about seven months. In early August, as the days shorten and food sources dwindle, this generation stops reproducing and delays sexual maturity to prepare for their journey. This migration is the longest of any insect, and while scientists aren't sure exactly what directs these butterflies to Mexico, a place this generation has never been, they believe sunlight is the primary factor. Arriving by early November, this generation overwinters in a relatively small area on the south-facing slopes of mountains in the trans-Mexican volcanic belt. They shelter on Oyamel fir trees at about 10,000 feet above sea level, where the cool but non-freezing temperatures allow them to conserve energy throughout the winter by slowing their metabolism. And in early March, they begin their migration back north, spawning future generations which will repeat the cycle again. Entomologists estimate this cycle has been repeated for perhaps the last 10,000 years. If that's true, I imagine the many early Native American societies over which these butterflies would have flown on their migrations. Of the mound builder societies in the present-day United States, perhaps they would have seen the many burial mounds, such as the conical Grave Creek Mound, built between 250 and 150 BC by the Adena culture, and the Mound City Group, built in the first four centuries AD by the Hopewell culture. Maybe they saw the mounds built for religious and ceremonial purposes, such as Rock Eagle Mound, built perhaps 2,000 years ago. And they likely flew over mounds built for reasons not yet clear to us, such as Serpent Mound, built in the first few centuries BC, and the Marching Bears Mound Group, built between 1,250 and 900 years ago. Toward the end of their journey south, they would have soared over the Teotihuacan civilization and the towering Pyramid of the Sun and, down the Avenue of the Dead, the Pyramid of the Moon, both built between 100 and 450 AD. In the same area centuries later, they would have seen the Templo Mayor of the Mexica people, commonly referred to as the Aztecs, whose capital Tenochtitlan was in present-day Mexico City. Had they flown further east over the Yucatan Peninsula, they may have seen El Castillo, the giant steppe pyramid of the Maya civilization, built sometime between the 8th and 12th centuries AD. And, as they approached Mexico City, they would have seen the colossal head sculptures of the Olmec civilization, such as the ones at San Lorenzo, built nearly 3,000 years ago. And once sheltered in the high-altitude fir trees on the south-facing mountainsides, I imagine them using little insect telescopes to look south toward Monte Alban, center of the Zapotec civilization, and its Grand Plaza, with its platform mounds for temples and residences, its ball courts, and its sculptures, built in the first several centuries BC and AD. In early March, as they began their journey back north, they would have looked down upon these same cultures and monuments, continuing the cycle for a future generation to see what they saw. I hope you've enjoyed this brief journey of the monarch, from egg to chrysalis to butterfly, across thousands of miles and thousands of years. It has been a survival cycle repeated for millennia, while the human race has made its own journey through time, beneath the fluttering of the monarch butterfly's black and orange wings. Have a great day.